What up, y'all? This is Mel and Keisha back with another E chat. I'm Mel. I'm Keisha. And this is a walk in the fat women's shoes. Tonight's E chat is day four yeah. of the seven day seafood challenge yeah. 2021. I want to thank all of y'all out there who are doing the seven day seafood challenge at this time. Yeah. The mukbang bulls. Eats is with that BP. right? Uh, Big Belly Bob and somebody else. Vern. Vern Bang. Okay, I want to, we want to shout y'all out. You know, the Mukbang Bulls is Big Mac, You Love Shiny, Lips, and Sam's World. That's the Mukbang Bulls. We want to thank y'all for redoing the seafood challenge. Today we have uh, some king crab, some shrimp, and some focaccia bread. And I have some of the little uh, sauce that, you know, that this was cooked in, right, Chef? We drank it on that good old H2O. Even though Big Gert is not here, Big Gert will do what? Save you in a crisis. Yes, she will. Yes, she will. And how to get a Big Gert, a Big Swole, or a Big Baby will be in the description box below. So you go in on and get your one. Your tea yourself. Go on, do it. You ready, babe? God is good. God is great. Thank you for the meal we're about to receive. Bless your holy name. Bless your prayers in the meal. Amen. Amen. So what's going on with you guys tonight? Let us know what y'all eating and if y'all eating with us. Also, let us know what's going on in y'all neck of the woods. How's your weather treating? And what y'all did today? Y'all know I'm nosy. Y'all know I want to know. Anyway, man, I have a toothache. So y'all just bear with the girl. What y'all grinding on, eating it, munching on, look what I mean. I'm saying grinding on. Oh, this sauce is good. Thank you. Here we go. I love the knuckles. Well, whatever, king crab, snow crab, I love it. Mm. Garlic. Garlic is so good. Y'all cut that down. What y'all? I started watching Lupin. Don't get me wrong. I'm just on the first season, and I'm on. Uh, I just started episode four, but I haven't watched it yet. But from what I'm seeing, it is really good. I would say, if you haven't seen it. Go see it. The only, the only thing that kind of be making me confused is one minute he pulling the the heist the next minute he in jail then you go back weeks later then days later. I'm like it's kind of confusing but it is good. It is really really good. Hmm. I don't even know why I tried to chew on this side. Oh. Happy Father's Day to all you folders out there. Folders, folders, mothers, folders, grandfathers, folders. Happy Father's Day to you all. I hope y'all are enjoying your day. Happy Father's Day, y'all. My Father's Day has been quite a day.
Yeah. Ask them all, right? No. My, uh, I had to make it a competition to get a gift out of Dwayne. <clears throat> and uh, my daughter called me bright and early this morning. I was like, what is wrong with you? And then she kept stabbed me. I was like, thank you. She gave me a gift. Oh, you want them onions? Mm, go ahead, baby. Come on, call it. And Alonzo saw that. <laughs> so he was like, Oh, that's how you doing it around here? I'm gonna leave me out. <laughs> and I got a gift from him then. So he gave you your first gift, huh? No, Ricky did. No, at midnight. Oh, well, yeah. He gave me a pack of Snickers. Yep. Which he's eating right now. <laughs> Wait, that that's the pack? Girl. Yeah. Get to the damn crib. <laughs> A few folks texted me. Thank y'all. But you're talking kind of low. I know. simple as I was trying to do. I was trying to go simpler than this. Yeah, she was. I still got it in the shoot, though. I think I'm going to still do it. What are you doing? Just eat the crab. I don't like the meat sweats. Well, y'all, this right here, what I'm eating is not meat sweats. This is garlic, onion, where it fell apart. <laughs> and ginger.
they were watching Lupin, and they were like, you really be watching some good stuff. And I was like, I tell you all that. Y'all think the world is superheroes and sci-fi. There's so much more out there. This is just too fishy. Like You know, this was a big crab, and he was eating a lot of fish. subtitles and whatnot. It just don't sound all that great to me. That's two. Okay. 
the sheet and I'm the shrimp eater. documentary on Netflix. One different? It don't matter. Called Dogs. It's four, no, it's five series. One is a little girl that gets seizures and she needs a dog. The next one is a man who escaped Serps. I want to say, I'm going to say, is Damascus? Is that the name of the place you know? Damascus? Whatever. Because uh, he didn't want to be well, uh, a soldier and he left his dog. And uh, that's one of them. And uh, the next one is about dog grooming. And the one after that is about a dog shelter in uh, Nicaragua. And I believe the last one is about rescues. Now I might have the last two confused, but the first three right. Oh wait, no. Because there was the dude, number three was the dog on the ice boat with his master, the fishing boat. And number four was the, do the dog groomers. Mm -hmm. Well, I watched um, all of them, except the dog room, right? And the one, you know, you watching a documentary about dogs and this, that, and oh, they're doing good for the dogs and, you know, you shouldn't be mad or you know, nothing about the documentary should like piss you off. Because, you know, these people are helping, saving lives of dogs and whatnot. But when I watched the one about the rescue and, uh, I'm, I think it's Costa Rica. It pissed me off. 
Why? It's a free range shelter. The dogs don't have to be in kennels or or stuff unless they want to be in these bad weather or whatever. But these people have something like twelve thousand dogs. And <clears throat> they try to justify it by saying people got rid of their dogs because they passed the law. If you don't up, keep up your animal, you can go to jail or get a fine. I was like, okay, well, yeah, well, they do that, you know. And so you watch them at this shelter, right? And you see the dogs and what not, what not. And they're complaining they already at capacity, but they still picking up dogs, right? But that's not the thing that pissed me off about the documentary. These, it'd be fine if all the animals were in perfect health. Or even if you're gonna keep the sick ones, you separate them from the other dogs, don't you? Right. These people have sick dogs and injured dogs and just mixed in together. All the dogs just together. They have dogs with real bad manes to wear. They don't have no no hair. And their skin don't look like skin. Like, if you ever seen real bad mange, well, if you haven't seen it, what it looks like is just real puffy and scaly with bumps all over it. And it's in flames and stuff. And I'm looking at this and I'm like, they're going to say these dogs ain't suffering? Look like every five minutes them dogs were sitting down to scratch. Then you got them mixed in. Talking about, oh, it's not nothing. But it's mites. Like, I saw off where they could have euthanized at least a hundred dogs and made it better for themselves and those other dogs at the shelter. And you sitting up there talking about people mad because we care. Really? Excuse me. Like, that's your justification for having these injured animals, these sick animals like this? Then, they in the countryside no, it didn't all come out. They in the countryside, so there's wild animals out there in the country. Wow. 
they was filming this documentary a wild animal attacked four of their dogs. And one of them died off top. <coughs> and that was one of the little ones that got attacked. And uh, one of them back was just ripped open. Like, then on top of that, if you saw the living conditions the employees was in, and they had people with babies out there. I was like, what kind of crap is this? Then they had employees with serious health conditions. Huh. Like they had two brothers that, um, Had epilepsy, and I was like, "Wow!" And they kept catching seizures. Their rescue was ran a hundred percent by donation. Okay. Man, I love that for you. How could you, in good conscience, give them a good deal? Donate money to this. Like growing up, whenever the animal had mange, you immediately tied it away from the rest of them. Yeah. And they had it with the group. He had them with the group. Then they had dogs that couldn't even walk that they would have to carry. Like, what quality of life are you giving these animals? Right. I can't lose that. When they go feed the dogs, it's dog fights. They feed something like 10 bags of dog food every day. Like, come on, man. And you talking about y'all can't afford it no more. One common sense tell you euthanize the sick and the elderly. Yeah. 
and they show you them taking care of the dogs and whatnot, whatnot. But they got all these mangy dogs just running in with their regular healthy animals. Just crazy. They showed one dog. The tag on that dog said four hundred dollars. No, dog number four hundred. Hmm. If you're interested, it's called Dogs. And the episode I'm talking about is called uh, Territorio del Z Zapato or Zapat. Look, it's it's season. It's the the fifth one, I think. Is it five? Let me see. It's number five. <clears throat> I was like, wow. Well, we done, y'all. Yeah, we really, yeah, we done. Yeah, yeah I know they got that one there, but. Kind of. Yeah. That's a lot of meat. That's what people don't be realizing. You know, when you see a lot of snow crabs or something like that, they're not you ain't got as, that much meat. Right. Like one of these king crab legs is like maybe three or four snow crab legs. Right. You know, and that's that's a decent sized king crab leg. So if you get one of them big ones, it's like eating a whole cluster of crabs times two. You know, as far as the length and all that go? Yep. Then the meat is denser. See, the snow crab is light and airy and sweet and just tender. The king crab not like that. And that's why I don't like king crab. It's dense. It's chewy. It's fishy. And uh, then on top of that, you got to fight it to get your food because of the texture of the shell and the bumps. The thorns, call it what you will. But happy Father's Day to y'all. Thanks for watching. We done. Have a good one. Peace, love, and hair grease. Till next time, much love and appreciation. And uh, I think that's it. We picking up and putting down something. I don't know. Putting it down and digging it later. We gonna push it down and dig it later. Peace. Peace, y'all.